Precad's unit handling system can be a little bit confusing, but it's important to understand it thoroughly and configure it correctly so that the output of our path jobs matches the expectation of the CNC machine. There are four related but distinctly different concepts at play. The first is the base unit. This is what FreeCAD stores internally. For length, this is millimeters, and for time, it's seconds. Velocity, which is distance over time, is represented as millimeters per second. It can be uncomfortable working in the base unit if it doesn't match the work that you're doing. So FreeCAD has the idea of a display unit, which controls what the user sees on the screen and how a value typed into an input field is interpreted. Display units are configured as a group with a schema selection that can be set in the preferences. We'll get to that in a minute. It's important to stress that nothing about the display unit or schema changes either how FreeCAD stores a value or what is output from it. The next concept is the machine unit. This is configuring the machine to how to interpret a value that is sent. It's sent as a directive in your G-code, usually in the header. G20 configures the machine for Imperial or US customary, and a G21 configures the machine for metric. Finally is the feed rate. This is the number sent on a line of G-code as an F parameter. How it's interpreted depends on the machine unit from the previous step. Now in the path workbench, let's see how this plays out. If I select my cube, and create a job. I'll switch to output and set my post processor to Linux CNC and give my file a name. If I switch to the default tool and input a value for the feed rate of 50, you'll see that the unit string is in millimeters per second. This is FreeCAD's default uh, unit for velocity. If a CNC operator was doing this, it's very easy to make a mistake because he's likely thinking about velocities for CNC machines, which are in millimeters per minute. If he creates a contour operation, and then uses the inspect tool, you'll see a feed rate of F50 and think that everything is okay. But remember the inspect tool is showing the raw G-code commands before they're post-processed. And at this point we have a, a value of 50 millimeters per second. When I post-process it, you see that my value suddenly becomes F3000 because the post-processor has correctly interpreted the units of millimeters per second and converted it to millimeters per minute. Fortunately, this is pretty easy to fix. Go to the Edit Preferences and switch to the Units tab in the General section. There's a drop-down to select the User System. It contains the seven schemas currently defined. If you're designing in metric and you want to do CNC, the metric small parts and CNC schema is the one to use. It has the velocity overridden in millimeters per minute. If you're working in US customary, either the building US or the US customary schema has the velocity in inches per minute and will work. I'm going to select metric small parts and CNC and apply it. Now if I go back to my default tool and look at the velocity, it's currently set in 50 millimeters per minute. If I post-process my job, my output stays at F50. And the directive in my header says that I'm getting G21 metric output. Conversion of the units to the final format is the responsibility of the post-processor. If your CNC machine needs output in inches, You'll either need to use a post-processor written specifically to do that, or a post-processor that's configurable. The primary post-processors in FreeCAD Path, Linux CNC, Smoothie, ShopBot, and GRBL, can all be configured for either format. Open up the job, switch to the output, and hover over the arguments field. 
and it'll show you all the possible arguments that can be passed in this field. In this case, we'd want to use inches. If I select my job again and post process, you'll see that I now get the G20 directive and all of my uh, feed rates have been converted. Okay, so that's units in a nutshell. Uh, I guess the first lesson here is you definitely want to set your uh, user schema in preferences to one of them that converts velocity into units per minute. And uh, I realize that there's a lot of setup to be done in the uh, job, especially if you want to use inches. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to cover setup sheets and job templates to show you how you can automate that process and uh, uh, have the jobs automatically set up the way that you want them every time around. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and uh, give us a comment down below and tell us what you think. Thank you.